After watching the final trailer for the much anticipated Alien Romulus movie, I had a thought about the titular station that we see within the trailer could be a black side lab for Willing Yutani's experiments with the dangerous xenomorph. During the various trailers, we see the station's dilapidated and abandoned state, with most of the station being largely empty and disheveled on the inside, with no signs of life on the outside. Various scenes show a surplus presence of facehuggers aboard the station itself with many of them showing attached to a character's faces in an attempt to impregnate them. We also see a face hugger on a computer screen, showing that the specimens were being studied in some way or form. Lastly, we know from the director of the film that the station has two halves called Romulus and Remus, with Remus being the older half of the station, while Romulus is a much more modern and high-tech. With all this in mind, I believe that originally, the station was likely a perfectly normal space station used as a spaceport or for some other purpose. However, at a certain point in time, the station would be bought out by Willing Yutani, likely either due to the discovering of even more presence already established within the station, or due to the station's out of the way location. Either way, the company will upgrade and retrofit the Romulus side of the station and transform it into a black site laboratory, where they would test the life cycle of the xenomorphs and likely find some kind of way to weaponize the perfect organism. However, similar to the Mandela station in Alien Blackout, the site would experience a catastrophic containment breach, with many of the facehuggers getting out and impregnating the scientists, creating Xenos, and causing the company to abandon the station, leading into the events of the movie. It is likely by the end of the movie, either the protagonist would end up destroying the station after escaping the main Xenomorph, or the company themselves would end up destroying it in order to cover up the experiments they are conducting within the station's walls.